Tesla engineers earlier this last year actually um, talked about a, a new production concept for mass producing cars uh, called the unboxed concept that they claim will slash EV manufacturing costs and reduce factory space. The process of assembly automobiles hasn't really changed much in more than 100 years. It's still the same uh, no matter what plant you go into anywhere in the world. Cars and, and, and most light trucks are made the same way. But Tesla engineers claim their new process will reduce EV production costs by 50% while reducing factory space by 40%. So those are huge numbers. Um, they believe the unbox system will lead to a paradigm shift in the way that vehicles are mass produced. And basically the process focuses on eliminating linear assembly lines and producing more sub-assemblies out of large castings. Uh, these large giga castings are primarily front end and rear end modules that eliminate hundreds of stamped metal parts that traditionally have been welded and riveted together. And they've been using this process on the Model Y and the structural battery uh, basically serves as the floor of the vehicle with the front seats attached on top of it. And then this whole sub-assembly is inserted through a, a big open hole in the bottom of the, of the body. Um, this allows uh, Tesla operators to do things in parallel and reduce final assembly line by about 10%. So it's a smaller assembly line than is tra traditionally used. Tesla also claims that by doing things on the front and rear part of the vehicle, they can get more people working on the car at the same time, which results in better operator density. Tesla's next generation vehicle will use this system to improve operator density by 44%, which will result again in much shorter final assembly lines and the optimization uh, of material flow. Now, this has attracted the attention of a lot of people. Um, legacy automakers are paying attention and in and, and experimenting with uh, giga castings of their own. Companies that I'm aware of that are doing this include Ford, Hyundai, uh, Toyota, and uh, Volvo. However, there's still issues related to safety and crash worthiness that have to be addressed. But this is definitely something to keep an eye on throughout this year and in fact, the next, the next decade.